disobedience of a court order is very serious. A court order must be obeyed with utmost obedience until it is reviewed or set aside because we are a country that is governed by the rule of law. Mm. As you know, our last budget, we had requested for 43 billion according to the needs of the judiciary. Uh, human resource capacity, the number of judges, magistrates and staff who can be able to serve Kenya all over, the infrastructure development and other tools that we require to serve Kenyans, we had requested for 43 billion, but we were able to get 20 billion. And that shortage persists. 0 .06. It is 0.06 percent of the national budget. That's what we receive. The superior courts will endeavor to accord priority to time sensitive cases to ensure their conclusion in a timeless manner whilst respecting the principle that justice must be done to all irrespective of status. I as the Chief Justice will also endeavor to optimize the capacity of the Constitutional and Human Rights Division and Judicial Review Division of the High Court once the new judges have been recruited. We have recognized the shortage of the human resource capital in those two divisions. While recognizing the great role played by the small claims courts in our country in transforming the landscape of determining these commercial disputes, we take note of the emerging challenges facing the court's efforts and we are pursuing uh, solutions to streamline the operations of the small claims courts. Number three, we are calling upon our stakeholders in the justice sector because we do not work alone to support and work with the judiciary in enhancing our efforts towards expeditious disposal of disputes. The Superior Court will continue to promote the uptake and use of alternative forms of dispute, the solution which is working very well in all our court stations. The Court of Appeal will undertake a case audit of appeals and applications where the court has granted stay of proceeding orders with a view to fast track the hearing and determination of those uh, pending matters. The High Court will undertake a rapid results initiative, which they have been doing regularly, to prepare the records of appeal to enable fast tracking of the criminal appeals at the Court of Appeal. We have also addressed the issue of the fight against corruption and how we can enhance our accountability and seamless service delivery. In this, we want to restate that the judiciary abhors corruption in all its forms and is committed to promote and enforce the principle of zero tolerance to corruption. We also discussed on how we can continue to uphold the independence of the judiciary while harnessing intergovernmental collaboration. And we took cognizance of the continued threats to the independence of the judiciary through verification and criticism of judges we have also taken note with concern of the continued disobedience of court orders and denial of adequate resources to the judiciary to be able to undertake our work. And we urge Kenyans to continue supporting the independence of the judiciary. The judiciary will collaborate and work with other arms of government in the spirit of interdependence, reciproca reciprocation. However, the other arms of government must also respect 
the independence of the judiciary. There shall be more interaction between the judiciary and other arms of government to communicate the needs of the judiciary without interfering with the independence of the judiciary in the spirit of cooperative dialogue. The judiciary continues to face the challenges of underfunding. Therefore, there is need for continued engagement with other actors and stakeholders to pursue constitutional and legal, amend legal amendments to ring fence the budget of the judiciary and strengthen and streamline the operations of the Judiciary Fund.